Network. We're picking this one up just a little bit after the start. This is the Open Championship doubles matchup. Kurt Hewitt and Jen Saunders going up against Brian Knowles and Mike Gessner. Joining us here, the one and the only Elliot Cook. Elliot, any thoughts here on this Open Doubles Championship? I know you've probably gotten the chance to see most of these people play. How, how do you see this one playing out? It's going to be a close game. we got to see, uh, see who's on today, who's hitting the best shots. and uh, I think, Honestly, I don't know who's going to take it. It's going to be uh, whoever's playing their game. And let's see if we can catch. 3-4, Knowles and Gessner down, serving at 3-4. Short serve there by Brian Knowles. Second serve coming on the way to Jen Saunders. Jen Saunders playing the backhand side. Good return there. Half out here, Mike Gessner now taking the serve. Now, Elliot, you play quite a bit of doubles out in Fargo there with the crew. What, uh, what are the differences you know, between singles and doubles for, for those people who haven't played, you know, a lot of doubles. What do you think are some of the biggest differences in the two two games uh, in, in, from your point of view? Well, it's a, it's a completely different game, really. Uh, you got to determine who's taking the shots. It's a little more congested in there during doubles, but uh, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of fun. You've got to be a little patient. You've got to know how to communicate with your partner. Right there is a side out. Jen, uh, Jen Saunders, Curtis Hewitt now back into the box. Lob serve. Knowles cutting it off with a defensive Z shot to the back. And Kurt Hewitt, nice backhand save attempt by Brian. Comes up short. That's a point for Saunders and Hewitt. Serving right now at 5 4. Jen going again with the lob. That one's going to catch the sidewall for a setup. Set up for Kurt Hewitt off the back wall. Backhand pinch. Another dive attempt by Brian Knowles. To, doesn't quite get that one. You know, Brian, what are your thoughts uh, on Brian in terms of the, the amount of times you see that guy flying around the court, diving? How tough is that as a player, Elliot, to, to compete against a guy who just seems to be there for every single ball and getting everything? Yeah, as a younger player, he's able to dive quite a bit more than those some of the guys he's playing with in there. And... Uh, it's really it's tough to get tough to play against. Really, you got to put everything down, and he still might get to some things. So you just got to play really smart racquetball and keep it away from him. Seven four here. I believe that might have been an avoidable. I didn't quite catch it. Set up here for Mike Gessner. Rally up front. We got another set up in the back. Gessner shoots it, leaves one up. Kurt Hewitt with a backhand, saved by Brian Knowles, and a setup for Jen Saunders. Nice wide angle pass. Brian Knowles tracks it down in a forehand kill down the line. Jen couldn't pick that one up off of the ground. Knowles and Hewitt back in. Knowles and Gessner back in the box. We got broken strings here, it looks like. Kurt Hewitt, the powerhouse, just destroyed the strings there on his racket. He's going to, to get his backup weapon. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Joining us is the lovely Jamie Nett Johnson, my beautiful, lovely wife, who made all of this possible. Jamie, how's this weekend been for you taking in all of this intense racquetball action? Intense is a good description for it. Um, what are the odds that we get you out there on the racquetball court competing uh, in the years coming, if not this year? What are, what are the odds that we see, you know, you, your lovely racquetball game out there on the court? Slim to none. Why? Why? I, I just... I, I, I got nothing to say. <laughs> All right. Um, this we're doing. Uh, 
set up. That one's going to be a setup in the front. Ken Saunders, he has to go ceiling. Mike Gessner pinned in the backcourt, has to go defense again. We got a defensive rally now. Set up in the back. Gessner shoots a great pinch. Save. He did not get saved by Ken Saunders. Great shot by Mike Gessner. 6-7. Gessner with the drive Z. Three walls. Second serve on the way. Wow, great backhand pinch right on point by Jen Saunders. Seven six, Saunders Hewitt serving. Inches away from a freak kill there by Kurt Hewitt. Half out, 7-6, Hewitt back in the box, serving. Lob served to Gessner again. This one's going to force him to go ceiling. This is a setup, middle of the court. And Kurt Hewitt puts that one down with a nice little pinch. Going up 8-6 here in game number one. Expect to see that lob from Hewitt again. Defensive rally ensuing. Gessner's going to take this one offensively, and Hewitt was a, unable to re-kill that one. Just came up with a skip ball there. Knowles and Gessner back in the box. Saunders back in the court. She's going to take this one. Leaves it up high. Backhand set up for Brian Knowles. Rally up front. Saunders again with the setup opportunity. Pop back to the ceiling. Around the world ball. Jen's going to cut that off. Very nice cross court pass. Forces a defensive shot. Saunders again playing offense. They got Knowles and Gessler on the defensive here again. They've got them on the run. Good ceiling ball by Gessner. Great rally. A ebb and flow there. Knowles and Gessner had a chance there. But couldn't put it away. Six serving eight. Drive Z to the forehand. Kurt Hewitt. Whew. Lace a forehand. I'm sure Gessner felt the wind blow by his legs. Any thought? You're playing the forehand side. I think you're typically a backhand side player, Elliot. But what does it feel like to play and feel that ball stream past your leg and you feel the wind blowing by you? What is that like? As a player, how conscious are you of where you're at on the floor and how much is in your mind is uh, being either hit by a ball or how, how much in your experience does that affect the players on the court? Um, truly, it's part of the game, so it's, it's not always in my mind if I'm going to get hit or not. Usually it's subconscious almost. I'm lifting a leg or I'm jumping, so don't even have to think about it much after, after years of playing. But um, when you do feel that wind go by... You know that it could have been a pretty painful experience, but uh, <laughs> you just got to be thankful. <laughs> there is no shortage of uh, pen racquetball tattoos here at the Buffalo Wild Wings Open this weekend. If you have not seen Jason Johnston lit up Brad Gulbrance in a minor, and uh, we'll, we'll probably post a picture of that on the website at some point, a humongous, humongous cantaloupe-sized bruise on his thigh. One of the best tattoos I've seen in a long time through this great game of racquetball. Meanwhile, Kurt Hewitt, wallpaper, wasn't able to pick that one up, of, up off of the side wall. Knowles and Gessner serving 6-10. Second serve on the way there. Brian's going to go with the drive Z. Setup opportunity. Gessner takes that forehand. Jen not able to put that one away. 7-10. 7 And they've decided to replay that rally. Great sportsmanship on the court. Tough shot from Jen. 
another offensive opportunity. Knowles Gessner on the defensive now, and Jen sniping one from the back of the court. Great accuracy. How much have you got to see Jen play over the last few years, Elliot? Honestly, not too often. Uh, every once in a while, she'll show up to the March Madness that I'm usually at, and uh, every once in a while, she'll get to a, a Grand Forks tournament, which I'm at. So I see her maybe three or four times a winter, but she's a heck of a player and hard to compete with. One of the one of the crowd favorites everywhere that she goes, Jen is uh, um, always consistently in the top of the women's professional tour, the LPRT. Always a pleasure to have her come into the tournaments. People always love seeing Jen here. Eight ten. Eight ten. Knowles Gessner creep back in. Great kill down the forehand side by Mike Gessner. Knowles is pumped up. He's giving him words of encouragement there. 9-10. Gessner back in the box with the serve. Side out. 10-9. Elliot, how much do you feel team chemistry contributes to, to the success or failure of a doubles team? How, how much is, uh, you know, the, the meshing of certain personalities and certain game styles? What do you look for in ideally in a, in a doubles partner? Uh, in, a, in a doubles partner, you gotta, you got to be able to communicate. Um, and you got to be able to pick up each other's slack. you got to know when, uh, when the ball is going to be past them. And uh, really, you gotta, you just gotta be know, knowing where to go and what to do in all situations. Hewitt lobs Z to the forehand of Gessner. Overhand set up opportunity for Kurt Hewitt. Mike Gessner with a very nice retail pinch. Side wall, front wall in the right corner. Drives Z, forces Jen to go to the ceiling. Gessner. Got to go defense. That one comes up short. Tough break there for Team Knowles and Gessner. Nine serving 11. Gessner probably going to go with that drive Z to the forehand of Kurt Hewitt. Great shot there, Kurt Hewitt hitting it down the line. They might be replaying that replaying that point. I think that ball hit, hit Gessner in the leg as it, as it went by him. Defensive return by Hewitt, set up off the back wall for Gessner. Jen, quick hands, just pokes that one into the front right corner, getting that serve back at 11 9. Set up off the back wall. Jen going from that front right corner, diving save by Brian Knowles. Another save as he flips it up to the ceiling. Kirk Hewitt going to keep shooting it. Gessner, that one came off his racket a little bit funny. That one went into the ground for a skip. We're at 12 serving 9 here. Jen still serving. We have two serves yet for this team. Three more points to get game number one. Gessner around the world. Forces an awkward defensive return by Kurt Hewitt. Great set, great dive by Kurt Hewitt. Keeping that rally alive. Now he's got a setup opportunity on the forehead side. And he puts it away. And the fist pump by Kurt Hewitt. Always got to love watching Kurt Hewitt play. He's a great he's a great player to watch. He's always he's always entertaining out there on the court. 13-9. Saunders setting up on the backhand side. Knowles with a re-kill. Saved by Kurt Hewitt. Back again. A setup opportunity. Forehand just comes off the frame of Kurt Hewitt. Half out for Hewitt and Saunders. You'll see a lob serve down the forehand side. That is a patented lob serve. Kurt Hewitt, one of the all-time great lob servers in the history of racquetball. Great down the line shot, Jen Saunders gets a point. 14-9, we have game point here in the first game of the doubles championship at the 2015 Buffalo Wild Wings Open. Whoa, great shot by Jen to put away game number one. 15-9, it's in the books, game number one right here. Elliot, your thoughts on that first game? What did you see, and what do you think that Knowles and Gessner need to do and make adjustments to pull out this one in game number two? 
I think Gessner and Knowles are maybe taking some shots a little early. They got to be patient, wait for it to come off that back wall for the setup. All right, and we will be right back with you here at the Rival Racquetball Network. And we're back here at the Buffalo Wild Wings Open, game number two. We'll replay that first point. Jen Saunders and Kurt Hewitt pick up game number one, 15-9. They open up the second game serving here. Another setup for Knowles in the back. Great shot. Jen was forced to give him a little bit of room there, and he had a well-placed forehand down the line shot. Knowles back in the box, drive serving to Saunders. Cross-court pass, backhand attempt by Brian Knowles. Another forehand setup, defensive return by Kurt Hewitt. Gessner setting up for a forehand in the back, and that one came off his racket a little bit. Half out for Knowles and Gessner serving at 0 0. Elliot, what's going through the mind of Knowles and Gessner coming into the start of this second game after, after dropping the first one 15 to 9? How do you think they're feeling out there right now? I think they're getting a little frustrated out there. Gessner uh, isn't really. Pulling his own right now. He's, uh, he's had a few missed shots, but he's uh, he's a strong player. He might get back into it here. 0-0 zero, zero. Zero, zero after that half foul. Kurt Hewitt back. You'll see the sidewall touch of the racket. Feathery touch with that lob serve. That one caught a little bit of the sidewall. Brian Knowles set up up front. And we're going to have a replay there. I don't know if Jen wants an avoidable there. I don't know what... Maybe she's she's uh, she's reaching for an avoidable there. She's... Jen, no, notorious for playing mind games with all officials and referees. <laughs> Setup opportunity. Kurt Hurwitz going to take it with his backhand. Rally up front. Quick backhand pinch in the front. Left hand corner by Brian Knowles. Jumps out to a 1 0 lead. Straight drive serve. Leads to a setup. Another nice forehand. Pinches it out in the front left corner there. Brian Knowles serving at 2 0. They're gaining some momentum here in game two. This will be a forehand setup for Jen. Forcing a defensive return. Another defensive rally here. Gessner and Saunders going back and forth. This one will come up short. Backhand cross court. Kurt Hewitt with another setup opportunity. Whoa! Bringing the heat with the pinch. Kurt Hewitt half out. Gessner serving at 2 0. It's a close game here, guys. We got to keep this high intensity. Oh, Hewitt with a beautiful little scoot shot there. Underhand scoop kill. Kurt Hewitt. Side out, Jen Saunders going with the... It's hard to determine if some of those are luck or skill there, Justin. When in doubt, it's always skill. It's always skill. You'd never, ever admit to being lucky. Ever, 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 ever. Gessner did come up after your guys' match yesterday and tell me that it, personally he thought it was better to be lucky than good. Do you believe that? True. Very, very true. Very true. One, two, Saunders Hewitt. On the scoreboard here in game number two, Hewitt sticks with a lob serve. Gessner is going to shoot that one cross court, forces a defensive return by Saunders. Around the world, Brian Knowles, forehand setup is returned to the ceiling. Another setup, forehand. Yep. That one came up a little bit short there. 2 2, Hewitt back in the service box, going with the lob. Gessner with, again with that overhand offensive return. Hewitt puts that one away in the corner to go up three, serving two. They've gotten back on top here in game two. Lob serve again. This one looks like they will force a defensive return as that wallpaper ball skidded across. Unlucky bounce over there by Saunders, and now they're going to get a lucky bounce up in the front corner. Returned well by Brian Knowles and Kurt Hewitt. Hits a hard shot, and that did a good skip in the front court. Side out. Two serving three. Brian Knowles in the box.
Bryant's wearing his patented Flash, red Flash Gordon t-shirt. Gotta love that. Is that Flash Gordon or The Flash? It's The Flash, right? I believe it is The Flash. That's an old comic book hero. Yep, and I believe they turned it into a movie. Very, very fitting t-shirt for Brian Knowles to wear as he's known for his unbelievable speed and tenacity on the floor. And in Kurt Hewitt wearing one of his patented trademark shirts. He went with the blue M&M shirt today. Kurt Hewitt, one of the most stylish players in the history of racquetball. Your thoughts on, we, we talked a little bit about this yesterday in terms of the, the look of racquetball players going with a certain style of headband. What are your th- thoughts on Kurt Hewitt's style choices uh, that he sports to all the tournaments he's attending? I don't know if it's a rumor or not, but I've heard that he may actually be a hemophiliac. That might be the uh, reason for the big baggy sweatpants, the knee pads, and the long socks. The M&M shirt, though, that, that, was, uh, that's, that really gets most people. Uh, yesterday, I believe he was sporting a red one and also an orange one. Today, he's, <laughs> I don't know if the blue, the blue might be his lucky one for championship game day. And it seems to be working for him today, Justin. We'll have to remember to ask him about that post-game, get his thoughts on his shirts. As Jen Saunders fires an offensive shot, defensive return by Gessner, two defensive returns. They're on the run a little bit. They get an offensive opportunity here as Jen goes off the back wall, but Gessner's forced to go to the ceiling. Jen, overhead kill attempt, comes off the back, and Brian puts it away with his forehand. Four serves three. Four serving three. Hewitt going with the lob Z. Another setup here. Jen Saunders forehand. Pit, tries to pinch it, forces Brian to go to the ceiling again. An overhead return forces a ceiling shot. Kurt Hewitt out of nowhere snaps an overhead, overhead shot. Great shot. And Jen able to capitalize on the defensive return up front. Another great pinch shot by the one and only Jen Saunders. Quick rally up front. Brian Knowles putting it away. Multiple forehand shots there. Gets a side out. Three serving five. Drive Z. Jen is going to have to play that one off the back. Mike, Mike Gessner set up on the forehand side. That one came in a little bit low. He skipped it in. Three serving five. Coming up a little too high there. Jen will be able to keep that one alive. Fly kill at the front by Brian Knowles is up. Jen, a well, well placed. Very nice touch. Backhand in the front left corner. Very beautiful shot. Pinch that one out for a side out. Now she's going with a lob nick to the forehand side. Gives it a tough shot for Brian. Squirt it out there. Mike Gessner's shot. Leads to a defensive return. Unlucky break there for Team Saunders Hewitt. Five serving three. Kurt Hewitt going with the lob serve. Gessner will play that overhead shot again. Saunders going up to the ceiling. Another offensive return. Kurt Hewitt there just barely came up short with that overhead kill attempt. We're going to see a timeout here. Looks like he's going to change a, a sweaty glove as the players are recuperating back in the court for this one timeout. <laughs> Kurt Hewitt wiping off the sweat. Getting recuperated here in game number two. Great crowd here on hand at the Buffalo Wild Wings Open. A great event. Mike Orr, as always, putting on first-class racquetball tournament. Things have run great here. Time's in at three serving five. Brian Knowles, straight drive serve. 
Good return by Saunders, forces a setup opportunity, and she puts another well-placed pinch in the front left corner. Gessie with a lob serve to Kurt Hewitt's backhand. Forehand. Jen, that one get away there. She would love that one back. Gessner serving at 4-5. Drive Z puts away by, put it, put it away, Kurt Hewitt. Kurt Hewitt claiming that is luck. Knowles comes up to cut off the Saunders lob serve. Forced to go to the ceiling. Gives Kurt Hewitt a setup. Got his feet tangled there. But lucky enough to get another setup opportunity. Brian is able to get it, rack it on it, but just didn't quite put enough on it to get back to the front. Six serving four here. Jen going with that lob. Elicits a poor return. Knowles, though, is able to keep that rally alive. Drop shot up front. Jen able to squeak that one out. Gessner wasn't able to track that one down. Seven serving four here. They're about halfway home. They've got control of the game. They've got a little bit of momentum. They still have both serves here. And that's a great answer by Brian Knowles. That's exactly what he wanted to do, putting that one away. Kurt Hewitt at 7-4. Going with the lob serve again. Lob Z. Set up backhand for Saunders. Read kill by Kurt Hewitt up front. 8-4. Hewitt Saunders, more than halfway home. They need seven more to capture their championship. Lob Z over to Gessner again. Gessner's been very aggressive playing that one, hitting those overhead shots. Dive by Jen Saunders there. She did get that set up for Brian Knowles. She gets it again in a backhand pinch. Very well placed shot. Jen Saunders keeping it alive with a dive and then putting that away in the front right corner. Great athleticism and great dive by Jen Saunders there. And then following it up with a great pinch, reverse pinch. Swinging a miss by Hewitt. Saunders picks up the slack there. Backhand cross court right at Gessner. Catches him off guard there. 10 4 now. Kurt Hewitt is serving. Lob serve to Gessner's forehand. He goes up to the ceiling. That one misses the ceiling. Cross court backhand forces a ceiling ball again. Saunders down the line. Knowles able to re kill that one in the front corner with a pinch, and Hewitt could not track it down. Drive Z comes up a little long there. Second serve on the way from Brian Knowles. And that would have been a nice little shot. Just came up a bit short. Gessner with a lob serve now. Hewitt forced to go ceiling. This will be a setup for Gessner. Cross court, returned by Saunders. This will be a back wall setup. Saunders puts it away, catches that side wall perfect. Well placed down the line shot by Jen Saunders. Ten serves four. Ten serving four with the side out. Saunders going back to the lob. Cut off by Brian Knowles. Another defensive. Great shot by Brian. Saunders and Hewitt had control of that rally, and Brian just played that one aggressively. Big shot there by Brian Knowles. Lob Z again to Gessner. Back wall setup, returned by Gessner. It'll be a forehand setup for Gessner. Hewitt able to get a racket on that one, but didn't quite make it to the front wall. That's a big, that is a really big side out. For Gessner Knowles at 4 10. Drive serve. Great shot by Jen Saunders. Just great touch. Half out. Mike Gessner will be serving a second serve here. Great kill in the front court by Michael Gessner. Five serving, Five serving ten. Great shot. Kurt Hewitt with a splat off the back wall. Big shot to get a side out. They need to string a few points together. Dry 
5-Z from Jen. Brian has the answer. Half out. Over to Kurt Hewitt. Ten serves five. Serving at 10-5. Hewitt sticking with that lob. Gessner going to the ceiling. Saunders will have a setup as that comes off the side wall. Another setup opportunity. Forehand for Jen Saunders. One more time. And somebody got hit there. Ten five. We we'll replay that point there. Kurt Hewitt. He was anticipating. He was still. The ball was still beside the line. It wasn't. It wasn't a cross court shot. Five four. Ten zero five. That that was the correct call there. That was the correct call. Lob serve over to Mike Gessner. That'll be a backhand setup for Saunders. Down the line, that's going to come off the back. Again, another off the back wall. Knowles opportunity capitalizes in the front court. Both teams here battling and competing back and forth. Knowles takes the box. Drive Z. Saunders going cross court. And then on the fly, putting the gas on. Continuously set up. Hewitt. Brian Knowles tracks that one down. Six serving ten. Five Z again. This will be a setup. Backhand from Saunders. Gonna come off the back. Forehand. Forehand from Knowles gave Jenis. She's going to call a timeout here. She wants to regroup. And we will have a timeout. Seven serving ten. Knowles and Gessner have the serve. Seven serving ten. And we will be right back. And we're back here, seven serving ten. Brian Knowles going with the drive Z again. Saunders, good return, forces Gessner to go to the ceiling. Kurt Hewitt again pulls out an unexpected overhand kill, putting them on the defense. Set up in the front for Jen. Very well placed shot. That's a half out, and that's exactly what they wanted coming out of that timeout. Seven ten. Michael Gessner. Big drive serve, comes up a little long with a three wall. Half lob, overhand kill by Kurt Hewitt, just out of the reach there of Brian Knowles, and that is a big shot from Kurt Hewitt. You could hear him grunting that one out. Jen, Saunders, Nick Lob, Lob Nick. Set up for Brian Knowles, kept alive. That'll be a back wall set up for Knowles on the forehand side. He may have taken, taken his eyes off of that one. That one just was mishit. Very good. Very good ceiling ball by Saunders. And now she's got another setup in the front court. 12 7 here. She's going to stick with the lob nick. Forehand set up off the back wall for Knowles. Very good shot. Half out. 12-7, Kurt Hewitt going with the lob Z. Gessner leaves that. Ooh, gets a good bounce there, giving Knowles a setup off the back wall. 
We're going to have a replay there as Hewitt and Gessner got a little tangled up on the on the right side of the court. Hewitt going with that lob serve. Skimming against the wall. Gessner's able to pick that one up. Kurt Hewitt with the overhead shot. Knowles right there anticipating, waiting for that one. Rekills up in the front left corner. Seven serving 12. Hoping to piece together a few points here to get back in this match and put some pressure on Hewitt and Saunders. Gessner in the box. Just come up short there with that kill attempt up front by Brian Knowles. Saunders back in the service box at 12-7. Sticking with that lob serve. Hewitt tracks that one down off the back wall. Defensive return set up for Knowles. Just barely missed that one on the forehand set up. 13-7. That is a big point for Hewitt and Saunders. As Saunders serves another lob serve. Great, great shot by Brian Knowles. Just picking that one out of the air. Driving it hard down the line. Kill shot by Brian Knowles. Gessner playing offense. Pinch attempt by Saunders was left up. Giving Knowles an opportunity. Another opportunity from Saunders. Cracks out before coming off the back wall there. 14-7. Championship point, Kurt Hewitt. Lob serve down the wall, down the line. Gessner had a problem getting that set up. Saunders gets the pinch in the front right corner. Just out of the reach of a diving Brian Knowles. A great match. Great match there. Kurt Hewitt. Jen Saunders able to pull that one out. We're going to try and get a get an interview with them uh, in just a moment. <laughs> Saunders and Hewitt with the championship win here at the 2015 Buffalo Wild Wings Open. All right, and we're back with Jen Saunders and Kurt Hewitt following the Open Championship victory in the doubles division. Tell me, what was the biggest, biggest, uh, uh, biggest thing you were trying to do in that matchup with Brian Knowles and Mike Gessner. It was it went in two games. I don't think they got into double digits in either game, unless I'm mistaken. Um, but what was the game plan heading in, and how did you guys feel you executed? Well, I told Kurt about halfway through the first game to stop skipping. And then <laughs> when he was able to pull that together, things went much better for us. And you broke out a couple of, like, uh, unorthodox, it, it took them by surprise, a couple of those overhand kills uh, in game number two that took them off guard. Uh, how did you feel out there? It looked like you were hitting the ball well. You hit a couple splats off of the deep from deep in the right corner there. Uh, how were you feeling out there today? Oh, I've, I was feeling good. Jen was uh, keeping them off balance, which allowed me to just kind of stand there and shoot, so that worked out well for us. And now coming up, uh, I'm sure we might be seeing you guys in a couple of weeks at the March Madness, potentially. Maybe Jen not. Or she's shaking her head no. I'll but, be there. Um, Looking down the road, uh, what do you guys got planned in the next couple of weeks? I know Kurt will be at the March Madness. Jen, what do you got going on coming up? Uh, I'm playing for Team Canada at the Pan American Championships. Not to do you, Kurt. March Madness is very cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Canadian Nationals, so I'm just prepping for those. All right, well, we wish you the very, very, very best. Thank go, you so much for coming. Go Canada. <laughs> we love you guys. We got a question. We got, oh, very good. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on. <laughs> hey, that was actually brought up during the what? broadcast. We got the blue M and M shirt going on today. We've seen yellow and we've seen red. Is blue? A, is there a certain reason you chose blue for the today's championship match? Uh, no. <laughs> where, does, where, does where do I get them? Online. I find them online. All right, Jen Saunders, Kurt Hewitt, the 2015 Buffalo Wild Wings Open doubles champions. Thank you guys so much for joining us. You're a goof. Thanks a lot, Justin. <laughs>